Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys had a good holiday. I hope the new year coming up treats you well. But today I want to welcome you to a special bathroom edition of Smash Engineering. Smash Engineering. Alright, and here we have the one that I'll be installing. So you'll want to unbox it, just check that you got everything. See our seals in there, hose. Who needs that? When you got a video like this. So first things first, we'll just check, we got the hose. We got second. Sorry about that. We got our beautiful shower nozzle, and this is the handheld shower nozzle. All right, so we're in here in the bathroom, and the shower head is somebody tightened it on with a wrench, which is really you know, ill-advised, but it doesn't hurt anything as long as you don't go too tight. And I can't find my adjustable wrench, so we're gonna carefully do this. Sorry. Until you get the old one off. Access. You can't do it one handed, but yeah, I don't have a filmer today, so. Um, but we'll go ahead and remove this. If you just get your nail under the edge of it, sometimes you can get it off. There we go. And if you twist it the right way, it kind of pulls most of it with it. So we'll do that and now I'll finish getting this off and I'll grab the new piece and then we'll put it on there. When you wrap this tape, you always want to do it in a certain direction. You want to have it so that when you thread the new piece on, it doesn't unthread it. So you always want to wrap it in a clockwise direction. If your threads are ready, tidy, left, you just go right hand it. So go ahead. And um, this has a lock stop. Um, I'm not sure if we'll need it, but just in case we do, put that on first. <coughs> against it. This keeps this from tipping back and forth, or at least it's in theory it's supposed to. Okay, so now we got our valve on there. Now we'll get our hose and our shower head and continue to it. Now don't let the look of this fool you. You're never supposed to use a wrench on these. A lot of people mistakenly use a wrench on these and they strip them out or over tighten them. This valve here is just plastic. Well, you can easily over tighten it. Now, that being said, if you get it as tight as you can by hand, because everyone's grip strength is a little different, if you get it as tight as you can by hand and it's dripping out of here, you can take a tool and just slightly you know, turn it maybe like an eighth of a turn. So we'll go ahead and set that up there, and I'll grab the nozzle, and then we'll install the shower head itself. Make 
sure you put your rubber washers in there. And be cognizant of which way you want this to face. If you tighten it and it's facing this way, you're always going to be twisting your hose to get it to sit back up there. So if you do, it's not a big deal. You can always loosen it. And then what I like to do, kind of hang it in place. Is that, how, is that how I want the hose to sit when it's not under any pressure? Yeah, I like that. So now we'll go ahead and tighten that down, test it out. Looks good to me. And also, remember this is cleanable too. You can have it come out of here or just here. You can take this down to bathe your dog or whatever. Alright, again, make sure you get your rubber seal in there. I'm going to go ahead and spread this up here. And then of course you can do your final aiming of this once you get actually in the shower and figure out where you want, how you want these to go. And pretty straightforward, but I know a lot of people are intimidated by it. So um, figured I'd make a video. Another thing to look out for while you're up here, check your drywall or your panel board or whatever you have underneath your shower head here. If if it's soft or mushy here, there, this pipe threads into another pipe in the wall. It may be leaking in there and it's not a hard fix. You simply unthread this, you put more plumber's putty or tape on it, and you thread it back in and then fix any wall damage you have. But do check that because if you catch it early, it can save from mold and everything building up underneath. You'll notice when I installed that, I did not use these. I did use these to remove the old one because someone put it on. Like I said, if you get any drips when you go to test it, which I will test it on video here in a second to show you, but if you get any drips, you can just do a small, you know, eighth turn. Just do the minimal amount that you need until it stops dripping. If it will not stop dripping, you might have a defective shower head and you might have to return it and not get it replaced. So let's go ahead and do a test and uh, we'll keep on going. The main areas we're going to check for leaks are going to be anything dripping from here, here, and of course in here. A lot of shower heads aren't, or uh, shower pipes aren't mounted correctly. If you can wobble this and it moves around, you may have an issue inside there. But the diverter valve is on the side here, so you can go from both to just the, the handheld sprayer to just the bottom one. So we're looking, no drips coming, looks like everything's secure. And while you're checking out this video, if your water isn't draining effectively, I have a video on this exact type of drain here on how to take it apart and clean that out. So, something you can look into. Well, thank you for watching so much. I know it's been a while since I put out a video. I thought this one here might help you as we got this for Christmas. So we wanted to go ahead and throw it up there. And I thought, well, many people 
may have gotten these for Christmas, and not everyone might have the confidence to put one up. So I wanted to go ahead and give you that confidence. Be safe anytime you're working with water, electrical, anything thing like that. Um, do this at your own risk. This is just kind of an informational video. So be very careful, be safe, don't flood your house, but uh, let's have some fun. Thanks for watching.